In this video, we will go over an example workflow when working with georeferencing in Open Buildings Designer. Before we begin, I would like to take some time to go over the solids working area which is present in Open Buildings Designer. Typically, in a 2D workflow, it is possible to draw anywhere on the design plane. This often leads architects and engineers to draw their projects in the same location as where the civil engineers drew the sites. However, in a BIM workflow, we actually use a much higher resolution than civil models require. This, in turn, means that the working area is much smaller than the area available in the civil world. In Open Buildings Designer, the solids working area is set to about 2.6 miles or 4.2 kilometers by default. If we have elements modeled outside of this area, we will be alerted by a warning such as this. Open Buildings Designer also gives us tools in the ribbon which allow us to visually display the extents of the solids working area. Once we toggle the SWA display option in the view tab on the ribbon, we can see the extents in the form of a cube that represent the boundaries of the area. We do not recommend altering the solids working area in the design file settings. Doing so has the potential of causing some of the tools in the program to not work properly. Therefore, the way to go about modeling elements for projects which exceed the solids working area, or to be able to reference our models to civil drawings, is to use georeferencing. When working with geographic coordinate systems, it is important to note that we are interested in projected geographic data. Unprojected geographic data can give us information about the latitude and longitude. However, we are unable to perform accurate measurements. There are multiple geographic coordinate systems delivered within Open Buildings Designer, and each allows us to accurately place our designs in the correct real-world location. An example of the level of accuracy of the geographic coordinate systems which are delivered is the HS2 survey grid stink projection. The snake grid projection is characterized by a low level of distortion when compared to the OS national grid. A polyline approximating the route from London to Birmingham has shown a difference of almost 60 meters. Therefore, having a software solution which provides us with accurate geographic coordinate systems is of utmost importance, especially when working with large infrastructure projects. However, geocoordination can prove very beneficial when dealing with individual building projects as well. By georeferencing civil information in our building models, we can have both accurate geospatial data as well as a high level of modeling accuracy by having our model created near the 00, zero origin and within the allowable solids working area. Let's have a look at what the geocoordination workflow looks like in practice. We will need a building master GCS file as well as a properly set up civil file with an appropriate geographic coordinate system. We begin by opening a site survey file. Once the file is open, we can see that the file has a geographic coordinate system applied. We can check this by opening the geographic coordinate system dialog box from the drawing aid tab in the ribbon. Here we may see more information on the currently applied geographic coordinate system. By selecting the from file option, we see a list of all available geographic coordinate systems which are delivered with the software. Here we see a list of coordinate systems for all regions around the globe. We can view the X and Y coordinates of the origin of our selected coordinate system as well. By having running coordinates enabled, we can see in real time the coordinates where our cursor is located. We can also change the units of the angle readout in the design file settings. We can now observe the angle readouts in the bottom right of our screen for each element in our file. Now that we are sure that we have a properly set up site survey file, we may begin creating the building GCS file. After we create a new file, which we will call the project GCS master file, we can attach other files which contain design geometry. In this case, we will reference in the architectural model for the grocery level of our building. We keep the orientation as coincident with a nesting depth of one. Please keep in mind that neither the file we are currently working in nor the architectural model for the grocery level has a geographic coordinate system applied. The next step in our workflow would be to attach the civil file as a reference in our building GCS master file and then align it to the building. 
Let's select the References dialog box and then attach the site survey file from before as a reference. We're going to attach it as coincident. Once this is done, we can observe that the survey file is located way off in the distance to the left of our building model. This is because the survey file is located in the real world coordinates. The site survey is also located outside of our solids working area. Our next step is to move the survey file reference to the location of our building file and then rotate it to ensure that the building is in the correct location and orientation with regards to the site survey file. So to summarize what we have done thus far, we have attached a reference file which has a geographic coordinate system and applied a movement and a rotation of that reference file. Our next step will be to create a geographic coordinate system which takes into account this transformation and rotation. This is called a Helmert transformation. Since we know that the survey file has a geographic coordinate system applied, all we have to do is select the From Reference option in the Geographic Coordinate System dialog box. Here we can select the reference from which we would like to pull in the GCS data from. If we scroll to the right, we can see that the site survey file has a GCS, and the Helmert transformation can be calculated from it. We're going to get a couple of messages. The first just tells us that this Helmert transformation is not going to be supported in VAI and earlier versions of the program. This doesn't concern us, so we can just click OK. The second warning informs us that the units of our geographic coordinate system are in meters while the storage units for our model are in millimeters. This gives us the option to change the storage units, but I will keep everything as is. We can now see that our file has a geographic coordinate system applied, as well as a Helmert transformation. We can now look at the properties for more information, as well as having the option to change the description. Now that we have established a geographic coordinate system for the building master GCS file, we can do so for other files as well. All we have to do is reference them into our current file and then push the transform GCS to them. We start off by selecting attach reference and then select all of the files we would like to push the GCS data to. I will be selecting the architectural and structural models. I'm going to attach them as coincident with a nesting depth of 5. Once all files are referenced in, we have to select the to reference option and then select all of the files where we would like to establish the GCS and hit apply. Now that our files have a geographic coordinate system applied, we can test them out with some workflows. First, we will attach BIM models to our survey file and see if it shows up in the correct location. All we have to do is select attach reference in the survey file and then select the models we would like to attach. In this case, we will use the architectural and structural discipline master models. We attach them using the AEC transform orientation option and change the nesting depth to 5. Once the files are attached, we see that they show up in the correct geographic location. Next, we can test a reverse workflow. We will reference the survey data to the BIM model. Here we have a structural discipline master file, and we will select attach reference and select the site survey. Since our survey file has a GCS attached to it, and our building file has the Helmert transformation done, all we have to do is select geographic reprojected and select OK. We now see the site in the correct location with regards to the building, and we don't have to move or rotate anything. Since we have a geographic coordinate system applied, we can view the location in Google Maps. All we have to do is select the view, and our browser opens up to Google Maps and shows us the location. We can also export our model to a Google Earth KMZ file. We select where we would like to save the file, and Google Earth automatically opens up and moves to the location of our model. On the left side of the screen, 
we can see all the DGN files which are part of the master model. We have the ability to easily toggle their visibility. We can now move and rotate our model and see it in the context of the real world terrain. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.